Hey guys, Eric here again with a quick video to show you how to update your WordPress plugins and themes. When you log into your WordPress backend, uh, you'll see the dashboard. And underneath the word right here where it says dashboard, you'll see updates. And if there's any updates, there'll be a ball indicating the number of updates that are available. What this usually means is how many plugins need updated. But if your theme needs updated as well, um, it may have an extra, you know, it's maybe like, okay, two plugins. This ball round down here will say two plugins. But this amount will say three. And what's also interesting is see this kind of two arrows that are shaped into a circle? The number of updates will be there also. So if you need three total updates, both this button or this indicator and this indicator will say three. Now it could say 15, it could say four, but if you're updating your, uh, if you're um, doing updates regularly, you want to do them at least once a week because what the updates do is they apply software fixes and patches so that hackers can't get into your system. Now that doesn't mean that hackers won't be able to get into your system, it just makes it harder. So, and it uh, secures your WordPress uh, website a little bit better. Now, let me show you what I believe is the easiest way to do your updates. You could click here or you could click here. And to update your themes, you have to go into here and then click themes and go there. But where may is there a place where you can find all your updates in one page? Yes, there is. And it's only through this link here with the arrows. So you click that arrow uh, in the top menu bar of your dashboard the arrow circle, circle arrow, however you want to call it. And it brings you to a page that's titled WordPress Updates. Now the WordPress Updates will let you check for updates. So let's say you were updating and then something happened. You lost power or there was an, an outage or something. And somehow there was a glitch in the middle of your updating. If you go and do check updates again, it will let you know if the last update installed correctly or not. And it will also let you know if there's any new updates. Now, it says you have the latest version of WordPress. So the WordPress updates page will tell you if you have the latest version or if there is a more recent version and you need to update. Uh, for my setup, I have security updates set to automatically update for for the WordPress core. Now if you go to the plugins section you see it will notice it will note all the plugins that need updated. And you can choose plug you know click there and do update plugin to just update that one. What I like to do is just select them all and see that highlights all those checkboxes and then click update plugins. And then you just sit back and wait, and it'll bring you to the Update Plugins page, which will then show you, as it's going through each plugin, which one is being updated. See, right now it says Updating Plugin HTML Editor Syntax Highlighter, one of three. That tells us that it's working on the Syntax Highlighter, and that's the first one, and then it's got two more to do after that. Fortunately, this operation is pretty quick on high-speed internet. So uh, all three are done, and I could do show details if I wanted to. If I click here, it'll give me a drop-down. It shows me where it's uh, downloading the update from. So if I wanted to go manually download it, I could. Uh, it tells you, and this will tell you the steps that it performs so that you can troubleshoot if you have any issues. All right and all updates have been completed. That's the message you're looking for. Once it says all updates are completed, you can return to the plugins page if you want. And that'll show you your plugins.
And of course, I got a bunch of plugins because it helps the functionality of my website. But you wanna you wanna be careful. Here's a caveat: you wanna be careful when when you're uh, creating plugin or not creating, but um, installing and activating plugins when you're implementing them in your website. You wanna be careful not to have too many. The reason for that is it's going to make it harder to troubleshoot if you have too many plugins. And also, uh, the more plugins you have, the more chance that it's going to slow down your website performance. So, there's a quick instructions on how to manage your WordPress backend and complete your plugin updates. Uh, one more thing I want to show you before I let you go in case you have to manually update your themes. You go into Appearance and Themes, and you'll see your themes will be right here. This is a custom theme that I'm working with. i got to change that screenshot. And here's the parent theme, and here's the child theme. And in this case, since it's a child theme I created, there's not going to be any update notifications. So the only update notifications will be on the parent, and it will say, you know, Update, and then you just click it. So, since there are no updates currently, uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Thank you for joining me again for another Eric Hepperly Designs video tutorial. And stay tuned for the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.